This is a GX Touch. It's a monitoring display for the inverter charger, the batteries, everything comes together here in the display. Um, so I'm about to mount it, and it's got this funny little mounting uh, hole that we have, we have uh, uh, routed out from the backing plate. And so now here to mount this, I'm kind of going to have to uh, hang it for a minute to get it through there while I uh, screw these in. Just got to get these started. Ordinarily, I would ask Jim to hold something, but he's filming. <laughs> There, we got one started. Uh, we get, if we can get two started, we'll be going. Uh, that hole is super off center. I did a great job drilling out that hole. We'll get it. We'll get it to work. We're going to get it. My pilot hole didn't line up, so I'm basically making my own right now. Yeah, that pilot hole is not going to line up. We'll get it. You probably don't want to use a power drill. No. Power driver says I don't want to break that frame. Yeah, that would suck. Then we'd have to reorder the frame, and it probably wouldn't get here. It might not even get here before the boat show. Right. That would be a nightmare. <laughs> We'd have to glue it or something, but we couldn't glue it because it's starboard. Ha ha. Oh, we got Sudbury. Yeah, we have to use the Sudbury. One more. Then we'll snap this baby into place. <laughs> Aren't you snapping? Huh? Snap. What? You give me. I think, but it's, it's not totally in there. I think it's in there. It's not totally though. I, I think it's all right, but it should be more. I don't want it to fall out. All right, we're putting more domino tape. Yeah, so we're gonna lay out our grid. What are we doing? We are going to make a channel down the center of this to overcome an obstacle on our display. Mm -hmm. um, because our display has a ridge on it that this needs to span. This is the ridge that he was talking about um, right here. And what's the fuse block going to be used for? Fusing what? Yeah. Everything? In the world? Everything in the world. Wow. And yes, they are upside down. They are upside down. Uh, upside down for wiring. Purposes. There's a reason for that. And 
We have stickers. You'll see. They're, they're awesome. <laughs> These are the Lynx distributors, and this is the BMS for the lithium batteries. All lithium batteries need a battery management system to make sure that the cells are balanced. Uh, because in lithium batteries, um, they don't balance themselves like, like with uh, regular lead acid batteries. They do a pretty good job of balancing the energy in case it's, uh, there's a difference between cells. Um, but lithium, they will, not, they will not balance on their own. So without a BMS, you could run into a big problem with um, draining some cells um, faster than others, uh, which could damage the battery. And plus, a battery management system does a whole lot more than just that. Like, it monitors the battery temperature to make sure it's not overheating. Uh, it man monitors the voltage um, to make sure that the state of charge is OK. Um, and it will send a signal, like if it's, if it's too hot, it will send a signal to the charger, which is going to be right here, um, to stop charging. Um, or if the voltage is too high. And if the voltage is too low, it will send a signal um, to disconnect all the loads that are drawing power from the batteries um, because so as not to drain the battery. So and these distributors are connected to the battery management system. And they're just a way to, they're like giant bus bars on the inside with mega fuses. Um, so the battery cables are going to connect into here. And then there's these big metal plates that connect these. And then the battery cables are going to come out here. And, uh, or actually, they're going to come out on top. And we made it upside down so that the cable run, um, oh, wait, <laughs> I'm backwards. Uh, so they're going to they're gonna go in here. They're going to come out here. And we did this uh, upside down so that the cable run between the out of the distributor and the end of the charger was going to be shortest. And then the battery cables that are coming out of, um, they're going from the batteries up to here. Um, we, we made them extra length right here because for both batteries, they have to be the same length in order to draw, even, draw power evenly from the batteries. And um, so this is the length that we, we lost from this. Because <laughs> they're different, you know what I mean, they're different distances from, from here. There. So now let's get the stickers. So they gave us stickers so that in case we need, in case we need to mount it upside down, um, we can put a sticker on it so that the sticker looks right side up. You're so each box came with one. The Lynx distributor boxes, they also have a sticker in each one. Um, so we got to make sure we get this right. So yeah, these little dots are for the light, status light, and the Bluetooth light. So we just got to make sure we line them up with the uh, lights. That's what it really boils down to. Yeah, okay. There we go. Good job. Thank you. Very stressful, it's very stressful. <laughs> Yeah, you get one chance, huh? I know. Yeah, that's good. There. There you have it. All right, we got everything except the charger, and we saved the charger for last because it's like 50 pounds, and it's going to be a disaster if we drop it or if our mounts fail. So I've been avoiding it. <laughs> And probably let probably let Dave, the manager, help us uh, and yeah. make sure that if something does happen, it doesn't all fall on me. Oh no, it'll fall on the links. <laughs> it'll fall on the links. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, we need to put the bottom. Yeah, I didn't know where it was. I wanted to I have it. We might not even need it. Do we? I think we want it even. Yeah. I just wanted to. I wanted to have it up there to see where it ends. I think it was. Oh, it's a little off center too right now. <laughs> We're a little off center. Yeah. I mean, oh, good. Okay, you just meant off center. You didn't mean crooked. No, no. Like good. Like it needs to. We need to make sure those tabs lock into these little slots. Gotcha. But yeah, I think it'll be fine. Okay, but where did the, I wanted to see where the bottom oh. goes so I can know where to put the footrest. Whoop. Can you hold the stand? Yeah, yes, yes. All right, so the bottom goes right to the groove. I don't know if we can get it on the um, foot and on the, no, oh yeah, we can get it. No, but is it going to go on the feet? Oh, the feet, yes, it will just bear. Pulls. Yeah, like. I mean, it doesn't need more than. Yeah than two screws. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we can take it down and then I'll do that. Okay. And we gotta make sure it's the same distance from the bottom as well. That's how it won't be crooked. That's right. So that is one and seven eighths of an inch, just a hair over, a little tick mark over, so one and seven tick eighths. Mark over an inch and seven eighths. Okay. This one is a one tick mark over an inch and seven eighths. Perfect. Okay, so I can match. Always got to over drill those holes. <laughs> over drill those holes. Oh, yeah. yeah. That ringed up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Get board out. I gotta get more. I gotta get more bolts. Two bolts, two washers, two lock washers, and two nuts. Okay. Oh, and I forgot we have to countersink. We always have to countersink because we have flathead screws, okay. which need to be countersunk. You got the countersink bit right here. Yep. There. Too bad the countersink bit is too small for the size screw heads that we have, but that was the only countersink bit there was at the hardware store. Oh, was it really? Yeah. Okay. Cricket already. Okay. I just need to overdrill the holes a little bit more. Lean these out a little bit more. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, yeah, it's straight enough, I think. All right, we got it. It's all done. Cool. Now, for the wiring. Stay tuned for next week <laughs> when Jim yeah. spearheads the wiring project. Have a great week. <laughs>